Hey guys, Tom Abe here, and welcome to my comedy special. First stop, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Yeah. My name, the marquee, is pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tom May. It's good to be here in Elizabethtown, home of. It's good to be here. <laughs> yeah, I like last night. I drove in from uh, Bullock County. Yeah, not a bad drive. Woohoo! <laughs> and I got lost. <laughs> and I literally ended up down over here on the other side of the tracks on the. The corner of Meth Deal and I Own a Pit Bull. <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah. <laughs> I remained calm, uh, but my GPS had a panic attack. <laughs> make a U turn. No, really, make a U turn now. <laughs> run the light, run the dang on light! <laughs> How are you guys doing, buddy? How are you? Good to see you. Wow, man. A lot of people here from E-Town, right? Volca. Whoa! Remember back in the 1970s and we had that big snowstorm and Bullock County schools were out for like eight years? <laughs> Remember that? Remember calling my cousin in Jefferson County? Ha ha, you got school tomorrow. He like, ha ha, you can't read. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. Jeez. Got the illegal aliens. Here's what I think about the illegal aliens. I think they're kind of confused. If they want to take American jobs, they should move to India. <laughs> Because when's the last time you called American Express and actually spoken with an American? <laughs> he spoke with someone, pretend to be American. It's like, Andrew, my name is Andy. <laughs> <laughs> well, how you doing, Andy? This is Ishfaq Muhammad from Bullock County, Kentucky. <laughs> And they always use that little Americana phrase to make you feel comfortable. It's like, you know my brother from another mother. Well, hey! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, Andy. <laughs> oh, man, first of the year. Oh, got all the political things going on right now, the debates. I'd rather watch the Weather Channel. At least there's a 50% chance of what they say will actually happen. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that the truth? Well, like, we're gonna lower taxes, really. Yeah, I got you know, I got audited last year. I, oh, jeez, Louise, the guy like Mr. Mabe, you claim you spent you claim you spent fifteen thousand dollars in hotel rooms last year, but you don't have the receipts. Like, uh, yeah, I got the towels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of people. Hey, thanks for the people on Facebook drove in from Florida and Michigan. That's cool. I appreciate that. I, have, I make a living off pulling pranks, and I was just in Reader's Digest. You know you made it when you're in a Reader's Digest. I'm going to tell you right now. So. <laughs> and the lady said, hey, man, tell us about your very first prank. Bullock County, Kentucky, eight years old. I built a snowman out in front of our house. I spent all day in the snowman. I went to bed, and I woke up, and someone killed it. They ran it down the truck or something. And I was crying. My mom came out to said, Tommy, baby, it's okay. I'll help you build another snowman. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. So we built another snowman, went to bed, woke up. They killed it again. Well, it's like, Tommy, baby, why don't you put the snowman in the backyard? That way they can't get to it. Like, no, Ma, the whole purpose of building a snowman where people can see it. They can't see it in the backyard. You go in. I got this. I got this. So I built another snowman. Put the hat on, the carrot nose. Looked like Frosty. I went to bed around midnight. I'm awakened by a bang! I look outside my bedroom window. There's a Ford pickup truck stuck in our front yard. 
and there's water spewing out of the grill. Yeah. I built a snowman on top of the fire hydrant. Yeah. And it takes me. It got me thinking about my next prank. I was a freshman uh, at North Bullet. Let's see, I was 19. Yeah, freshman. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the only eighth grader who drove to school legally. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually I was 13, and uh, my cousin Johnny lived down the street from me in Hillview, Maryville, over there in Bullet County. And he calls me up and goes, Tommy, don't answer the door. I'm like, do what? He said, don't answer the door, man. Like, why? He said, they're going door to door selling stuff. I'm like, what are they selling? He said, home security systems. I got this, I got this. Ten minutes later, there's two guys walking up our front porch. My brother and I bust out the screen door wearing a ski mask. <laughs> I'm holding a crock pot. I look back, he's got the cat. <laughs> really? He stole the cat? <laughs> I'm always running late at the airport. <laughs> Last time I was, I was going to Burbank two weeks ago, and I was flying, I was leaving, leaving uh, my house, going to Lowell International Airport, and I was running late, I was literally running. And I, uh, I was so happy that when I went through the metal detector and the alarm didn't go off, that I kind of went, woohoo, like that, you know? celebrate when the alarm doesn't go off. <laughs> little tip for you, a little tip for you. When you're getting patted down by the TSA, it goes by much quicker if you whisper, I love you. <laughs> oh, geez, my son, he's a prankster. Jeez, uh, as a, I'm a, what they call like a diaconate in my church, and it's where I, get, I serve every other Sunday. It's my turn to serve, and my son changes the ringtone to my cell phone. I'm serving, I go, oh, we to hell! <laughs> they say he's got the uh, ADD. Uh, when I was a kid, it wasn't called ADD, it was called Tommy Needs a Spanking. <laughs> he does, man. He's got the worst case of ADD like Dad. And I go, knock, knock. Who's there? Who's where? <laughs> <laughs> well, do me a favor. Do not, uh, don't drink and drive. That's silly. You don't want to do that. Uh, but don't call a cab because not only will you about 30 or 40 bucks in the morning, you'll be without your minivan. <laughs> <laughs> do what I do. Go out to your vehicle, pull a couple spark plug cables off. Call AAA, get you and your car home safely. <laughs>